good morning welcome back to the channel today i'm going to be setting up my boat world 330 pro so i'll show you what it requires to set up so here you can see me getting all the parts out of the box laying them all out getting them in the right order getting ready to blow it up So that's it, all the parts are now out of the box. We've got the oars, the seat, the main boat, and the floor panels all there, and the rail trod and the floor in and the pump. So now I'm gonna start unrolling the boat, taking all the packaging away from it, unfolding it, getting ready to blow it up. So you can just see me take my time, taking all the packaging off, folding out the chambers, making sure all the boat's laid out properly before I start inflating. So you can just see me cutting off the packaging around the caps that cover the valves. They stop you accidentally deflating the boat while it's in operation. As you can see, I'm having a little bit of trouble inflating the boat. Uh, when I had a look, you can see I've got the, the valve, so it's actually sucking out the air still rather than inflating the boat. So what I'll do, you can see me swap around the, the pipe coming out of the pump, so it's blowing out the air rather than sucking it in. So as you can see here, as I'm pumping up the boat, I start unfolding the chamber just so it can 
fill the chamber nice with our It does take a little bit of effort pumping out manually, but I will get a electric pump. As you can see, I'm only pumping up the chambers about a quarter of the way. It just makes it a little bit easier when you're installing the floor. Right, so now you see me installing the floor. I put in the back one in first, and I slide it all the way up to the transom bolt. Now I start placing the second floor bolt in, you see, it slides back into the other one. It's like a tongue and groove effect. Then I put the wooden bowel bolt in, which has got a hole in it so you can pump up the air kill. Then I place the second bolt in behind that, and then you can see me, I, I do struggle a little bit getting this one clipped together, so I have to get my wife to come in and give me a little bit of a hand. So you have to lift them up both up like a trap door, slot them in together, and then push them all the way down. Now you can see me installing the rails that hold the floor in place. They just clip in. So now I start installing the seats. Makes it a lot easier when you've only got a little bit of air in the chambers. It gives you a little bit of flexibility to slide the seat on. So now you can see me pumping up the chambers to their pressure. They're probably still a little bit underinflated, but I need to get a pressure gauge so I can see what I'm pumping them up to. Now I'm just going to install the oars. They slide onto a pin and they're held in place with a plastic nut. As you can see, there's plenty of room for up to two anglers. And I will be installing some rod holders soon and a few other bits. Also, I'll get the outboard and I'll keep you up to date with everything I do.